if you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with a, another awesome video share um, of some products from HTV Runt. You guys know I love collabing with them. I love their final, I love their products. So I have some new stuff to share with you guys. Um, well, new for me too. And also an awesome discount, 20% off. Discount code uh, will be down below. 20% which is awesome for you vinyl people that do heat transfer vinyl, if you just do permanent vinyl, if you want other types of products, if you want thicker paper, like check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. It'll be linked down below and I may have a special discount code in addition to that. I'm not sure, it hasn't been confirmed, but I asked. So we will see how that works out. But at any rate, if you just get the 20% off, just get the 20% off. I'm going to definitely use it. <laughs> huh, baby, <laughs> I'm going to be all up in there <laughs> getting my 20% off. So it's only October 11th, 12th, and 13th. Three days only. Check it out. Here we go. I'm going to share with you the things that they sent for me to share with you. Okay, guys, here is the update. There will not be an additional discount code given, so please take advantage of the 20% as is. But what they did decide to do was something even better, was a giveaway for up to four people. The information for the giveaway, the rules and instructions will be pinned in the comment section down below. So be sure to check that out. But really briefly, if um, you guys head over to HTV Runt and follow them on Instagram and YouTube. You have to comment on this video as well. If they reach 100 comments on this video, there will be two prize giveaways. So there's prize A and there'll be two of those. If the comment section reaches 200 comments, there will be four winners picked. So be sure that we follow, we like, we share the video. I forgot to mention that. Comment, like, share. All the links and stuff will be down below. The information will be down below. So if we all gather our things together and everybody comments, two people can win. But if over 200 comments, likes, and shares, then four people will win. And I know that you're going to like the prize. All right. So we're going to get back to it. Remember, all the information will be down below pinned in the comment section. Good luck. I'll be checking. First things first. Hey, I'm just all on the musical references right now. Um, I love the mats. These are HTV Runt mats. And I don't know if you guys know but they do sell them and they are good. And I have used them several times, several, several, several. Um, in here is two different kinds. We have the light grip and the standard grip. So if you're using like lighter papers, copy papers, your print paper for your pictures, this would go on there. And then obviously you got your standard um, grip mat, 12 by 12 standard mat. And you get this little scraper that you can use to get up your papers after you get done. So definitely love a good mat for your 12 by 12 machines. And my Cameo 4 loves these. It doesn't, it does not, <laughs> it is not prejudiced over its brands. It does not have to use just the silhouette brand. Silhouette brand. It will definitely um, use anything. And this is one of the ones that it likes. So I use it. And then for you guys that are messing around with sublimation, we got sublimation HTB. And I love the little folders that they come in, child. These come in handy. I can stick them right there, line them all up, and just pull it out. Sublimation, whatever it is that it is. And they keep they keep the items protected. So um, this is for, I did my daughter a t-shirt. I had some of this, tried this on my own. I tried this on my own and purchased this from HGB Runt. And mine came in a row because um, I got a larger quantity. 
But I did my daughter a t-shirt and it was a black t-shirt and it was before I was doing like heavily into like loading my shop up with sublimation items and learning about my printer and stuff like that and what it could do what it can't. So I purchased these sublimation HTV. So when you're doing like dark colors and things like that, if you don't have the proper equipment to do them, how well they can come out bright, then you would use sublimation HTV and you would cut this out, heat it on your um, substrate and, or your shirt, whatever substrate is, whatever it is that you're sublimating. Um, you would heat, cut this out and you would heat press it. You don't have to have a heat press machine. I mean, a heat press, like the big industrial, you can use your, your handheld with the right pressure and the right temperature. It'll work as well. I cut this out um, with my cutting machine and then the outline of the item that I needed to print off with my sublimation printer. So I cut that out. I put this on my black shirt for her. And then I printed out my sublimation image. Um, and I sublimated that on top of this coating. It's like a protective coating that anything can sublimate to as long as you use the special sublimation ink. And then it was fine. They have glossy and they have matte. This one is um, clear. I think this one is clear glossy. So that's that. And so it's, it cuts really well, peels off really nicely. Um, like I said, I before I got this, I had um, already purchased a roll off of Amazon and was trying it. I'm like, okay, I like this. For those times where I can't get to what I need to get to, I got this. So I got it in matte and I got a roll in clear. So this is good stuff. And I'll show you guys how that works as well. And speaking of sublimation paper, um, this is... Uh, when I got the heat press from HTV, Ront, I, they sent some sublimation paper, some 13 by 17, I want to say, really big. Um, so it's nice to have a small 8.5 by 11. Um, I had already had, um, was using the larger one because I ne let nothing go to waste. And I just cut it down or I made two, like a bigger thing and a smaller thing that would fit on that, um, that whole long sheet. So this gives you the directions for how to do your sublimation with their paper. And then one side, pretty easy to tell. One side has your label on it, their um, HTV Rot um, print. And then the other side, you just print on your printer. Print it out. Guys, I'm loving sublimating. I'm having so much fun finding new things to play around with that and put them in the shop. <laughs> hint, hint. So... That's really cool. All the links for all the things that I show you today will be in the description box. So like I said, they have a plethora, a variety of stuff to choose from. So that 20% off code is very important. All right, and this is the Sublimation HTV. It's the same, only this is matte. So one is clear, one is matte. Uh, not clear. One is glossy. They're both clear. One is glossy and one is matte. So one has a shiny type of feel when you put your sublimation and one does it. So the picture that I'm going to show you is my daughter. She wanted this particular image on a shirt and I was having a hard time figuring out how I was going to, and she wanted it on black. I'm like, how am I going to get this on here? Boom. Found that, ordered it, worked perfectly. So I'll insert a picture. And listen, <laughs> printable vinyl sticker paper. This is for inkjet and laser printers. I have I have both. I love using my inkjet. You guys know I've been using it for forever. It prints out my 12 by 12 print um, paper, cardstock pattern paper that I buy. Um, and it does a great job. I love it. I'll have that link as always in the description box under my st cool stuff that I found on Amazon. Be sure to check that out. There's a lot of stuff down there. And then I also have uh, a laser printer, which I love too as well. And you can use that when you're doing like other stuff, when you want to do other stuff that requires just a laser printer. So pretty darn cool. I have a little project coming up for that. Look how white, white these sticker paper is. Yes. So it, you can hardly tell that this is sticker paper. It just feels like heavy cardstock, but it is. Look at that. Nice. Definitely know what I'm going to do with this. So for this, you get 55 sheets and it's the matte version. So there's also a glossy. I don't prefer glossy things too, too much, but I love my matte, honey. It just, it just does something to me. You can also, you can do a lot of things with this printer sticker paper. I also have some heat transfer vinyl. This is a 12 by 20 roll 
and this one is white. Um, you, <laughs> you can never go wrong with white HTV. Like seriously, nothing. You, you, you can always do something good with that. And then it comes with this cute little picker. I love these little things. It's, um, it's like the equivalent of the little pink thing. Somebody was giving me grief about, is that <laughs> my multi-use pink tool? Where is it at? I lose these things so much. And I feel like I buy them often and I just lost it. I just used it in a video like 10 minutes ago. Um, but anyway, it's a little pink scraper thing that I get from the Dollar Tree. I lose it often. But this this little sharp thing, you can pick up your, um, this pick, you can peel, weed your stuff off with it very well. So that's the goals. I'm going to put that back in here. But yeah, and there's your step-by-step -step instructions, how you have to mirror, how you have to peel it off. Easy to do. Heat transfer. I absolutely love it. And then they sent me more heat transfer vinyl. This one threw me for a little loop there, Cassie. Um, <laughs> That's who it is. She get, Look at this color. Now, I'm going to have to be crafty because I was like, okay. Wait a minute. Voila. I'm going to need y'all to drop some suggestions on what I can do. I, always, I already thought of one little thing. I was going to do like a little caution sign. I was like, okay, maybe I could do like a little caution sign. But this is 12 by 20. And this is your, this is your fluorescent orange. This is your neon orange. This is giving me attention all customers. That's what this is giving me. <laughs> maybe I'll do something with that. Hey, hey, we created. We'll think of something. But drop an orange heart with your idea of what you think I can do with orange neon orange heat transfer vinyl nothing halloween related but we'll see and then this is really cool i've never um had any of their sublimation keychain blanks and i'm on their website often purchasing stuff for myself because like i said i don't support anything that i don't like and i've purchased many many things out of my own pocket with my own cash um and i never saw these so i was like okay what is these things what are these things oh nice sublimation keychain blanks this should be fun oh and it comes with oh this is so cool it comes with the little card to give as a gift what and then you have um da -da 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 -da, the tassels and what? You got a whole kit. This is nice. You got the bags to put them in. You got this. You got your tassels. You have your rings, your jump rings, your chain. And it was a whole kit. And then you have the instructions. So you print off your design, remove protective film, fix it to your design, transfer, and success. So here are the blanks for those. Let's pop these open. We'll just pull one out. How many in here? How many of them here do you get? Um, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You get 30. Okay, come through. All right, so we would, yeah, remove this film on both sides. Okay. Okay. This is nice. I like this. So, hey, <laughs> the more sublimation stuff, the better. I love it. So that is a surprise. That's a nice little kit, guys. That's a, this is really good. I like that. So it comes with all all that you need to get started. I mean, you're not going to get your printer and your heat press, but this is all that you need to get your your keychain started. I wonder what I would put on these keychains. That's something to think about. Okay, so those are the items, guys. Still, still drop a link down below. Not drop a link. Give me an idea what you would do with this orange. So, but what I'm going to do since today is the launch of their um, um, Amazon Autumn Sale. That's again 11th through the 13th. So today, tomorrow, and the next day, 20% off. 
Check the description box below for the links to these items. And don't forget to check the comment section for my pinned comment for all the information you need to participate in the giveaway. Um, and then addition to that, I'm going to do a quick project with one of these items so we can, um, I'm going to figure out by the time I hang this up and go upstairs to my upper, upper craft room, I'll figure out which one of these items that I'll do and I'll be back with you guys. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay, so I am going to start out with a blank page on my Silhouette Studio software, Business Edition. And before I bring in my tools here, little uh, stickers that I'm going to be making, they're going to be so cute. I am going to set up my page. So I have it for the settings of a Silhouette Portrait. I'm going to put my registration marks on because I want the stickers to be cut out. So... Now I can bring in all of the SVG files. So I will do that here quickly so that I can get them all set out. I do save my files as um, an SVG and I also save it as a PNG so that it, it could just be a clip art if I need to print a page and a big page of it. But I like doing the SVG because uh, most times they already have a border around it. And all I have to do is do an offset if that's what I'm going to do. And I don't have to do any um, tracing or anything like that. So I save all of my, most of my files as both the SVG and um, the PNG. These are so adorable. Seriously adorable. These will make some really cute little stickers or you can put them on the back of chipboard. Look at the cutest little glue gun. Aha, cute little cameo. Cricket, whichever one. Um, you can put them on a chipboard piece and use them as, you know, ephemera. But these are going to go as stickers. I'm going to widen out a little bit, move all of these over, and then put them on here one by one to the size um, that I want. Okay, I've grouped everything all together. I got them all resized. Um, to how I'm going to have them. And let me just make sure that they are going to cut out around the edges here. Um, I think I'm going to do, yeah, I, okay. I think I'm going to do a border around and offset around all of these. So what I'm, what I normally do, oh no, we missed the spot. Let's see, we didn't wrap. So yeah, what I'm going to do is make sure they are spaced apart so I can do a lot of these at the same time. Um, I'm going to turn off the cutting of these because how it comes is it cuts um, all the little, I'll make this a little bit bigger, all the little faces and stuff. So I'm going to um, sorry, <laughs> completely blanked out. I'm going to turn that off so that all they print is the outside all they cut is the outside so now I have everything out of the way <laughs> and I'm going to go to my panel my offset panel here and I'm just going to offset a little bit probably 0 0.5 50 0 0.5 0 0.050 that's what I'm going to do oh I think my daughter is watching a movie I think my husband is on the computer downstairs doing stuff I'm printing. Oh, it's just this internet is driving me nuts. So, okay. 0 0.50. Make it small. Looks like they all have one. Okay. It did it. We did it. We did it. Now, what I'm going to do is go through. Let me set that because I moved that right on out the way. I'm going to make sure this is centered on each other. So now I'm going to line all these up, make sure that they are under my registration marks, and get them cut. Okay, I have everything on the mat. I did some duplicates to fill in the space because we want to use all our sticker space. Sticker space. So I'm going to highlight everything, and I'm going to press no cut. And then I'm going to go through and highlight um, just the outer part of the items, like the offset, and then press cut for those. 
Okay, so now I have all of the outsides cut, the perimeter, so it will just print. I uh, just want to make sure that that's how they'll cut. So I'll go back over here to the design page, and then I will select print. That will print off downstairs on my printer. Then I'll come back and cut them out. Okay, this is how my stickers printed out on the sticker sheet. So now all I have to do is put it through my portrait and cut it. Um, and it'll read on these registration marks and it'll cut them out as stickers. So I'll show you guys what that looks like when I get back. And you also want to be sure that your settings on your um, cutting machine are set to sticker paper white or whatever the equivalent is for your cutting machine. All right, I am back using some sticky paper, or sticky, <laughs> sticker paper. Um, this is from HTV Rot, and hopefully I was able to show you guys a little bit of video. Um, like I said in the previous video, I don't know where this comes in in the lineup. I'm doing them back to back, to back to back. <laughs> this is the sticker paper that I used, again, from HTV Rot, and let me show you guys what I did. Um, so, so cute. So I'm super excited about that. So this is the um, this is the Kawaii sticker paper that I showed you guys. I have printed it out, and then I use my settings on my portrait to sticker paper white, and um, that's it. And look at this, honey. She peels. She peels like butter. That is so cute. She even got the middle. This is a scraper. Yes, and here is the what is this? This may this is the cricket. Cricket, nice. Um, the cameo, everything just cut out so smoothly. It's really, really nice. <laughs> so, what I could do, the sticker paper is just put this directly on my planners and things like that. So I think it's really, really pretty. This washi tape, really cute stuff. So I use a fresh mat. So I peeled that on up and I was like, oh dear, I have to be more gentle. But I went and changed my mat to a dull mat. <laughs> Funny how things want what things. I changed it to a dull mat and then I printed off something else. Look at this. <gasps> yes, look how vibrant these are. Oh my gosh, I love this combo. I love the printer. I love the paper. I love the cuts. This is a washi tape um, that I got off Creative Fabrica. So I'll have the link down below Real quick little, um, what am I trying to say? Real quick little throw in, little, little extra. Uh, if you're interested in signing up for Creative Fabrica, I have Creative Fabrica Friday videos that you guys can copy, learn some stuff, some techniques. I have a full walkthrough tutorial on how I do mine. And down below, you'll find a link for $1 for one month. Download what you need to download, girl. Get in, get out. Or if you stay, reoccurring months is super, super cheap. So, um, anyway, this is what I did. I'll have these down below and look at this. Look, such a vibrant thing. Hey, so I just filled up my paper with these stickers. I have like a B theme one down here. I have like a simple little elegant one. This summer theme here was popping. And look, look how they just peel on off. Cute little washi tapes. And they have like little ridges on there. Okay, girl. So I'm going to put that back on here because, again, I'm going to use this in my planner. All right, let's peel off another one here. They just come off so nice. Ah, so cute. We have this one. Where are we at? Ooh. Yes. I love it. So, so cute. All right, enough. Whoa, i got to put it right back on the spot. Enough with playing with these washi tapes. Um, I want to show you guys another one that I did. And these come up. Did I show you guys this one, Jill? These come up nice and clean. So anyway, really, really cute. And then I did one more. <laughs> yes. Ah, I love it. So I typed in um, just a bunch of things that I use for my planner. I did some circles. So they're one inch. And then I just labeled them just a bunch of stuff that I need to say like block off, don't do anything, this is this day. So like my design team projects, I have like, boom, put that there, design team. I could have 
done icons and stuff like that, but I just wanted to to do what I needed. I didn't need, I don't want in, Instagram, Pinterest, all that. I needed to do what I need to do. So I have my video, um, YouTube, Instagram, edit reels, collabs, swaps, winners, giveaway, reels, craft my stash, live, hauls, blogs, record, all those things. And then I foil them with um, some paper, not foil them. I mean, yes, I foil them with the foil. I don't know if this collab video is going to be up before this video, but I'll share with you and then I'll mention it again if I have to later. But this is some um, rose, gold, rose gold foil that I got from Panda Haul. So I do have a haul on this. And like I said, I'm not sure where where this video is up in the lineup. I'm just down here working. So um, this is Panda Haul. I'll link this down below too. Um, if I have it up or not, I'll link at least that so you guys can have it. So that's what I did, guys, with the sticker paper that I was given to from HTV Runs. Hello, really, really cute. Don't forget, guys, this is a special deal going on on Amazon. It's a sale from the 11th to the 13th, 20% off. Cool. I mean, you can do this sticker paper for yourself. Um, and get get these done creative fabrica you can do all of this do your one dollar subscription sign up get all your washi tapes all your planner stickers all your kawaii stuff just all whatever all you want to do they even had planner sticker for like social media and all other stuff too but this is what i wanted to do that was personalized to me so check it out guys the links will be down below for everything don't miss this sale don't don't miss the sale all right guys like the video if you like it, and let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later. Bye.